Making they're not movies. making as many movies as they used to in Hollywood. They're only doing literally maybe a tenth of the movies they used to do. And so, and everything is now the big blue chip movies. It's got to be, it's going to be the, the, if you're in a superhero for the most part, or, or animated flick, they're not really doing much. And they're not doing many comedies. And for me, they're not definitely, so when movies start going, the black movies are going to be the first to go. I did this movie out of necessity. You know, as I've done every movie that I've done, done out of necessity. I don't want to, you know, I didn't want to write, star, or produce. I have to, because if you're going to be a filmmaker, especially a black filmmaker, you can't be, I can't be a black actor. I can't, because there's no work for black actors. Now, if I want to be an actor, right, or want to be a black actor, I have to be a writer, a producer, a director, and I have to do all this just so I create work for my actor, because otherwise, don't expect to work. You have to be a force of nature. If you're going to be in this industry, especially if you're of color, you got to be a force of, force of nature. Being an actor is not good enough. In January 2012, one couple moved into a new home. The events that followed have never been explained. How could someone so cute be so stink? We're investigating paranormal activity at the Johnson Residence in suburban Los Angeles. Uh, yeah! I kicked you in your ghost balls! I got something for you! Hey, this is Mike, and you're watching Real Black, and today we're with Marlon Wayans, the star of the brand new movie, A Haunted House. What's up? <laughs> there's sort of a lot riding on this Haunted House movie. You know, um, you, um, gotta do, you gotta get the word out. There's, there, there's a lot writing on every movie you do. Um, this one I just so happen to be very proud of because I did write it, I did produce it, and it came out of my head, and I star in it, and I don't have my training wheels on me. You know, I don't have my big brother on the right and my big brother on the left. It's just me, and I'm seeing what kind of tricks I could do with the bike that is mauling, and uh, yeah, it's a little crazy. Yeah, it's sort of like when uh, Michael left the Jackson 5 to, to a certain extent. Or Tito. Okay. All right, we'll take <laughs> well, one. It could of be them. Jermaine Jackson doing "Let's Get Serious." <laughs> Who knows? If it's huge, then I'm Michael. If not, then I'm I'm Marlon. Jermaine doing his solo album. You never heard the unreleased Marlon Bongo album, did you? No. He just sold it on. How about this way? If it, did he really? I'm just kidding. I would say that's awesome. I'm going to get that right now. <laughs> if this if your movie does well, it's my Janet Jackson's Control album. If it bombs, it's going to be Dream Street. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's a very, very inside reference. <laughs> but as, as an owner of Dream Street, <laughs> I have to commend uh, uh, you. Last night, the screening was off the chain. People laughed nonstop. So, good. I mean, without, without question. I mean, what, what inspired you to, like, I mean, you've done the scary movies, but what, what made you go for another stab at doing the paranormal? Because I felt like this was different than a scary movie. It was a departure. Um, it's an extension of the brand that is Wayans, but it's really a di so different than Scary Movie that the, the tempo of the movie is different than Scary Movie. I think this one's more of a movie in terms of this isn't a parody. It's a horror comedy with parody moments, but it's really a, and it's done in the found footage form, and it's really about a couple. This is a story in, in, outside of the parody elements, outside of the funny characters, outside of um, some of the ridiculous humor. There's funny in that it's really a story about a girl that moves in with a guy and how that adjustment is, and she brings a ghost with her and how the ghost comes between their relationship. And this is a really funny story between a, a guy and a girl and them dealing with a ghost that's ruining their relationship that comes between them. It's like infidelity. There's so much that you deal with just on a human uh, level that is just some really funny go-to stuff. Like, it's, it's different. It's like I laid off the punch, and you just get a slice of life, and then all of a sudden, crazy stuff happens. So there's a floor, but I blew the ceilings off in terms of where we're going to go with the humor. Oh, absolutely. No. And, and you nail, I mean, it's, it's pitch perfect to the Paranormal Activity movies. Like, it feels, it definitely captures the tone of that. Mm -hmm. I mean, part of, part of it is, it's an advantage of it is that it's all in one house, and it's all, it's, it's all controlled within, like, the found footage format. Mm -hmm. I didn't need a huge budget to do the movie, and I wound up getting huge results with not so big of a budget that I'm used to. Um, so it, it was done in the found footage style. I wanted to be the first one to do a found footage comedy, 
I've seen it done. They did the, the you know horror. They've done the superhero movie. They did the teen movie. And I thought it'd be fun to do the first um, found footage comedy. And so you have to do it in the same fashion, with the same budget, in the same style. We shot it in 21 days, one location. Wow. Yeah. Now, was Open Road the distributor of the film? Were they tied in before no, you made it? I had no distribution tied in. I am Global funded it, and uh, they've been great partners. And then we screened it for Hollywood, and a lot, everybody was like, you know, all the big boys was like, we got our movies that we're doing, or it's not for us. And Open Road and Endgame, you know, to their credit, they seen how that, because it, it was a raucous, like, the screen in L.A., people was like, you seen this. I seen somebody get up and punch their friend like, you see that? And I was like, so I seen somebody literally fall out their chair. And I was like, oh, wow. Another girl was wiping tears. Like, her mascara was ran. And I was like, wow. And they saw that screening, and Open Road was like, we're in. Because some people thought it was a little too edgy or whatever. Open Road was like, I'm in. And, and in game. And, um, you know, they're, they're behind it, and, you know, I'm... I'm pushing as hard as I could, and I, I really think it, it's something I'm proud of. It's you know, it's not like if it's bad, you, you may not see me here. You know? <laughs> I would still push it, but I won't be as excited. I right. Think. Well, like, yeah, y'all should maybe see it, kind of. Like, but I, I feel good about it. I know you were mentored by your brothers. Did you ever feel? And you have a great cast. Were you ever tempted to bring another Wayans in on board? Uh, of honestly? course. I asked my brothers. I asked Damon if he wanted to play the preacher. Da Damon and Joe witness, and he was just like. Mm -mm. I'm not doing that movie. It's too dark. It's too crazy. I said, dude, this is the guy that did Handyman? <laughs> mm, yeah, and that's different. <laughs> and then my brother, uh, Keenan, I would love for him to, you know, be a part of it as well. Um, but I think they wanted me to have my own experience, you know, uh, um, just to be able to execute my vision. And um, so and I asked Sean, and Sean was like, uh, I, you know, if, it's hard for me and him to be in a movie and them not think we're brothers. So there was no brother role in the movie. Um, so, um, yeah, but I'm kind of glad that it worked out that way because I got to do my vision. If I was with my brothers, my brothers would be like, you can't do the man bingo party, there's no way. <laughs> Somebody would be like, you can't do that. They would have said, no, you can't do that stuff animal thing. You can't. There have been a couple of things like you can't, but see, I got to make the decision and I got to do what I wanted to do. And hey, Keenan, Sean, hi, 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 I did my thing. Um, I hope y'all don't punch me in the chest and that I made you proud. You heard it. So any anything on the screen is either going to be LaToya or Janet, <laughs> but it's all from this man's imagination. <laughs> yes. Um, it's a crazy movie. It's hey. a funny movie. It's very Thank entertaining. You. It's on point. It's uh, on the same levels as the scary movies, if not funnier. Wow. You know, I've heard Thank that you. response. Wow. Thank you. So I hope people come out and support um, haunted House. Thank you. Let me know what you think of the movie. Follow me on Twitter at Marlon L. Wayans. Tweet me what you think of the movie, um, and I'll tweet you back or I'll retweet it because I want people to know what you guys really feel. It's important. That's all. Hey, what's up? It's Marlon Wayans, and you're watching Real Black by itself. Is that better? Evil. It's an exorcism happening, people! Oh, she was the most Spider Man. I'm Father Doug. I'm here to unpossess you. Do you know how to connect the cuts? Uh, uh, uh. Tic tac toe in your face. Well, welcome to the Terror Dome. Come on, damn. Get down. Ah! Man, that breath is kicking. I can only imagine what the kitty smell like. God, come a long way since Virgin Meg, so I'm proud of you and happy for you, man. Keep doing it. You I did. It, it, the wind was in my eye. Let me get the mic. All right. All right, it was a lot of fun. Thank you.